back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michali. Oh, in Kosovo, my young And I am so so excited to be here. If you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. If you're a regular subby, if you're a regular C Tandwa Sam, welcome my baby, welcome, welcome, and welcome. For those who are new, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because what are you waiting for? Linden, don't know subscribe. What are you waiting for? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the segment of my channel called We've Got Opinions. And today we are speaking about staying safe during the festive season. Okay. But before that, guys, disclaimer. As you already saw in my previous video, I'm trying out new backgrounds, all these things. So please bear with me. And today my background is showing... That weird chord that is making me hate it so much. But here we are here and what can we do? Eventually we'll get there, guys. We'll get to where we want to be. But for now, let's do with what we have. <laughs> anyway, as said before, oopsie. As said before, um, the title of today, or rather today, we are talking about staying safe during the festive season. By the time you watch this video, it will probably already be festive season. Or maybe if you watch it when I post it, it will still be um, November. But we are in the last few days of November. From um, Friday, it will be the 1st of December, which means we are party inside the festive season and if you are from south africa then you know that the festive season or the december month in south africa is your it's a lifestyle it's a vibe <laughs> it is not just a month it's a whole i don't even know what to call it right but however with all the joy that comes with this season with all the festivities the fun and everything nice comes not so nice things in as well it comes with scammers high rate crimes like all the bad things also just rise up as the temperature is rising as the mood is rising as the fun is rising even the crime is rising so this is the one time of the year i mean we have to keep safe the whole year but this is the one time in the year that we have to be extra 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 vigilant because everybody is out to get something everybody wants to be in the vibe everybody wants money so that they can be in the vibe and other people are taking chances and some people don't even want the money for now they know that a lot of us our gods are down we're enjoying ourselves we're not paying attention so they use the opportunity to make money or scam people or do whatever that is illegal all right so one of the first things that i could say and how we need to keep ourselves safe honestly i don't even have like googled points or whatever it's things that i want to do to keep myself safe as a matter of fact you should also say in the comment section how you are planning to keep yourself safe during this festive season okay so the first thing that is a priority to me is myself because if i am not safe then i cannot take care of my assets or keep my assets safe or keep my family safe or whatever my number one priority is keeping myself safe and i know many of us will be going out to places of entertainment to for example personally i'll be going to my village in the eastern cape and there will be a lot happening there'll be a lot of imigedi there'll be a lot of function ceremonies and everything which means i will constantly be around people and it means that i will be eating drinking whatever like drinking cool drink you know so the first and most important thing that i want to do this december is take care or watch what i eat you know not only in terms of yeah i must look who's giving me food because someone might be a witch and they might poison my food or something things like that happen so you have to be out there to be vigilant enough to like watch who's giving you food where it's coming from and all of those things but for me it is more on a say of usually during december time i don't watch my diet i just let go and by the time i leave the eastern cape in january this has happened for the past few years years two three years by the time i leave the eastern cape after the holidays i am sick i am like sick to my gut 
I am throwing up, I have headaches, I am over sweating because I had too much sugar. I'll have sweets every day, I will drink less water, I will um, have more fizzy drinks and all of those things. So to avoid the fuzz of wanting to have um, resolutions in January that include going to the gym and whatever, we honestly need to take care of ourselves um, before we get to that point. I feel like this year I'm in such a prepare in advance for the coming year vibe because even my previous videos I've been speaking about how we need to prepare for the next year right now and one of the things that I'm doing is taking care of myself. I'm trying my best to even right now I'm already implementing it. I'm drinking more water, eating more fruits and trying my best to cut, cut down on the sugar because I know I will reap the consequences i know i will reap what i sold so watch what you eat please and don't just eat anything from anyone and if you're going to entertainment places if you're a groove person please keep your drink close to you because the truth is date rape drugs are there out there they will spike your drink even if they don't do anything to you i know of someone whose drink was spiked they don't even know how they got home but nothing was done to them fortunately their friends were there so they have in their friends so that they were not fine they took them home immediately so even if nothing drastic will end up ha happening to you but people maybe just buy drinks for fun we don't know why people do it so please keep your drink to you um please avoid ordering cocktails or things that are already made behind the bar and buy um drinks that you will open yourself so point number one is take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself then you can't take care of everybody else or everything else that will follow right and then um, avoid also overly crowded places because we know the worst things happen in such places. Like if you're going out at night, at groove, then someone gets stabbed somewhere. Avoid being in places like that. Also, even if it's not just groove, but like the beach, the certain days where we all know those days at the beach are overly crowded. That's when people drown. That's when like a lot happens. So rather than going maybe on the 26th of december at the beach go on the 28th or the 27th maybe there's less people then so try to avoid crowded places because the more crowded it is i know we have the saying that says the more the merrier but the truth is we've seen it in history the more the not so merrier the more things happen the more pickpocketing happens the more sexual harassment happens i know i stopped going to the pool because we would be swimming in the pool the next thing you feel somebody touching your bum you look you don't even see who it is because there's too many people and all of those things so try your best to avoid overly crowded places rather chill at home like buy your drinks chill with your family or whatever and if you decide to go out then go to a place where you know it will not have too many people to avoid anything happening point number two keep your family safe this is the time of the year we see a lot of parents relaxing because there's a lot of people on the street so they just assume that their children are safe they let their children play your child is not safe <laughs> if you are not looking after your child best believe your child is not safe because like people who harm our children are not even people who we don't even know our uncles our fathers our what they harm our children so always be aware of where your loved ones are always be aware of who they are with and what they are doing especially if you're a parent um be aware where your child is me as a sister i must know where my sisters are who they are with and what they're doing with that person so that i can know if anything happens if i realize that they haven't communicated for a certain amount of time i can easily easily try to get a hold of them and if anything happens let's say they said no um i'm going to a certain place and then maybe on the news we hear that something happened there then i can always check on them instead of them saying no I'm, or not knowing that they were there and then after days then i found out that they were involved in something tragic so always be aware of your um family's uh, whereabouts don't let children loiter around and just say i know they're they're playing in the streets no you don't know what's happening there in the streets if your child is not in your sight you have to be worried okay number three take care of your assets many of us like myself we are going um to holidays and usually when we go um we all leave meaning we leave our homes alone or you people who have holiday homes visit their holiday homes meaning we live we leave the homes that we live in alone um that is not safe because housebreaking ends are very high at this time of the year 
so try by all means what we usually do i know here at home we have an alarm system and we also usually leave somebody we will actually not usually we always leave somebody when we leave so if you have a family member who's staying behind and who can stay to open the curtains close the curtains check if everything is still okay or even if they can't live at your house but they can drive past every day please have that do that um ask someone to check for you also have alarm systems in place so that your assets can be safe you know and yeah th that's one of the ways you can keep your home safe um your cars oh guys hijacking is on an all time rise so many people that i know have been hijacked in the past month as i was saying so many people that i know have been hijacked in the past month so it's very important for us to stay safe and keep our cars safe um be careful of gem locking when you lock your car come back make sure that it's actually actually locked okay and um try to avoid places that where you know that there are high hijacking risk areas um don't go there if you know they hijack there please don't go there because we all know there's certain areas that we know um there's hijackings and everything like that uh with this one i don't even know how to say avoid it because sometimes even if you're not driving at night they, they can still have, uh, hijack you you'll be going to the mall but you park your car in the parking lot you go inside the mall you come back your car is gone so uh, i really don't even have tips on how you can keep your car safe but the best i can say is try to look out for jam locking because that's like i don't know there's nothing else i can say all right avoid overcrowded places because that's when pick pickpocketing happens when there's too many of us in in a place it's easy for someone to just slip you that your phone out of your bag or cut the straps of your bag or slip your um phone out of your pocket try by all means not to put your phone on your back in your back pocket of your jean actually not even in pockets i don't know maybe in the prestices if you're not a woman i don't know where you're gonna keep your phone but um oh, just yeah get a thinny pack put it here in front keep your things there because if it's anywhere else then the chances of you losing it are even higher and last but not least your money your cell phone scams people scamming through whatsapp cell phones accounts social media accounts being um hacked all those things so much is happening and your money is not safe so don't give out your information on whatsapp or your financial information actually any kind of information on whatsapp or over the phone rather give it to a person in person um our atms also atms are not safe at all during december time because cloning happens there and a lot of things like next thing somebody wants to help you and your money is gone do not allow anybody to help you either the security or people that work at the bank and um also like try not to use the atm a lot rather with your card rather if you really need if you can't swipe and you really need hardcore cash rather send yourself a cash send and get the money using a code than um getting the money through your card and then your card is cloned and the next thing all your money is gone so those are just little things that we can do to look out for ourselves and keep ourselves safe during this festive season be very vigilant to be very alert of your surroundings i know i'm a very oblivious person now sometimes i just don't know what's happening where i'm just there floating with the a do not be that person be awake at all times because even with the slightest blink anything can happen and your valued assets might be gone or like you might be in some sort of trouble so stay alert stay awake and remember to stay safe but have fun have fun and stay safe also remember not to drink on drink and drive rather uber rather ask a friend who doesn't drink to go with you to a place you know um remember not to swim and not to drink rather and swim because guys as a matter of fact hey don't drink man <laughs> don't drink alcohol because alcohol alters your state of mind and many bad things happen you can't drive when you're under the influence you can't swim when you're under the influence so all these things are things that keep us happy during the festive season like driving to different places swimming so now when you can't do all of those things because you're under the influence then ugh, it sucks 
but do your best to keep yourself safe and i hope you enjoyed this video that brings us to the end of it i hope you enjoy the video i hope you enjoy your holidays i also hope i will enjoy mine um stay safe spend time with your loved ones my heart goes out to those who are mourning loved ones during the season my heart goes out to those ones who don't have um, a lot of family or many people they are close with during this time so this season is very lonely for them um, my heart goes out to all of you i'm thinking about you all those who recently lost loved ones who will be spending their first christmas new year without their mom or their father or a very close loved one um my heart is going out for you and i am praying for you i am praying for your healing and i know that god it says in his word that he's close to the brokenhearted and even in this season it may not feel like it always it may not seem like it always but god is with you and um you'll be all right you'll definitely be all right and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to your, with your friends and family. Um, I love you a lot. I love you so much. And I hope that you have a great festive season. See you soon. Bye.